India is blessed with an incredible variety of ecosystems and soil types. This further leads to massive assortment of crops. With proper inputs and right technologies, agriculture can usher in a new future of prosperity and inclusive growth for India. Oil seeds as a premier cash crop have a significant role to play in this growth story. India occupies a prominent position on the oil seed map of the world, both in regard to acreage and production. They cover approximately one-tenth of the total area cultivated in India. Groundnuts are widely accepted to be the most economically important oil seed crop of India. The direct rate of groundnut research or DGR is dedicated towards exploring, enhancing and realizing this potential. We started our journey way back in 1979 as the National Research Center for Groundnut. By the ninth plan period, when we were designated as DGR, our development matched with an increased understanding of groundnut as a game changer for Indian agroeconomy. Right from the beginning, a guiding star remained a concerted and focused vision. Enhancing efficiency of groundnut-based production system on a sustainable basis through appropriate cropping system, value addition and diversification of products so that the groundnut system as a whole becomes sustainable, remunerative and globally competitive. To make this a reality, the DGR has been following its mandate with assiduous commitment. Our mandate is supported by our well-equipped 105 hectare farm, a main laboratory come office building and several ancillary buildings. Besides an array of laboratories, our main building also holds within itself a conference hall and even a museum and a well-stocked library. The ancillary complex houses glass houses, net houses and farm superintendent office come tractor shed. Within our boundaries, we also have a water reservoir spread across two hectares, not just helping recharge groundwater but also providing a safe haven to local birds. Under the able leadership of the director, who is the CEO of DGR, they have made us what we are today, the nation's premier authority on groundnut crop. Over the years, the regular manpower of DGR has become close to 150 trained personnel, including scientists, technical persons, administrative and other supporting positions. Beyond core scientific disciplines like plant breeding, plant pathology, entomology, agronomy, biotechnology, plant physiology, biochemistry, genetics, microbiology, neumatology, and social science. The work gets shared between five interconnected main divisions. Crop improvement, crop production, crop protection, basic and social sciences and also support groups like economics, extension and statistics that help in the research programs conducted by these main divisions. All dedicated towards ensuring a good and viable groundnut harvest year on year. Besides the conventional approaches of plant breeding, Techniques of molecular marker-assisted breeding and genetic transformation are also being employed for developing improved varieties with better stress resistance. 
A good crop husbandry can help to realize the potential of the best groundnut varieties. This calls for optimization of agronomic practices like appropriate time of sowing, doses of fertilizers, interculture operations and scheduling of irrigation. A cropping system research focuses on how a groundnut farmer can best utilize his land and other resources by raising other crops in succession along with the groundnut. Further, superior strains of rhizobium which can fix much more of nitrogen than the native varieties are being developed. To enhance the quality of yield, yet another area of research is the development of consortia of rhizobium with other beneficial microorganisms. The crop protection scientists of DGR strive to develop eco-friendly and economically viable control measures of all the threatening biotech stresses. But yes, we do understand. Just developing new varieties, breeds and technologies isn't enough. To enhance their marketability, we have dedicated scientists to evaluate their oil content, protein and other quality attributes. The scientists of extension and economics disciplines evaluate the impact of developed technologies, their profitability and also the bottlenecks in their adoption. In order to familiarize the state extension functionaries and also the farmers with the latest developments in the groundnut production technologies, Directorate of Groundnut Research organized various types of outreach programs for farmers, including training programs. A well-maintained technology park in the institute reflects the different technologies effective in groundnut production. Further. The Social Science Unit in its Technology Assessment and Refinement Program conducts on-farm trials in villages to evaluate the adoptability of the technologies developed by these directorates. Teamwork lies at the core of DGR. A spirit of togetherness of thought and purpose has helped us achieve a string of remarkable achievements. Besides maintaining a repository of 9,024 germplasm accessions, our crop improvement unit has managed to introgress disease-resistant genes into cultivated groundnut varieties. We have registered 21 elite germplasm lines having multiple disease resistance. DGR has developed three improved groundnut varieties, Girnar 1, a Spanish bunch variety, Girnar 2, a Virginia bunch variety, and Girnar 3, another Spanish bunch variety. Four varieties have been developed by SAUs from the segregating material supplied by DGR HNG10, GG5, GG7, and AK159. Work is on to bring about transformation of groundnut with genes like Defensin for fungal resistance, like ZAT12, DF, ATDREB, and MTLD for tolerance of drought or salinity coat protein genes of PBNV and PSNV for resistance to PBND and PSND, CRI1FA for tolerance of Spadoptera. Within the ambit of crop production, optimum requirements for NPK fertilizers have been determined and practices for control of weeds and efficient utilization of irrigation or rainwater have been developed. Doses and modes of application of various micronutrients in different agroecological zones have been worked out. Two efficient rhizobium strains of IGR-6 and IGR-40 have been identified and microbial consortia consisting of superior strains of PGPR, that is PGPR-1, PGPR-2 and PGPR-4 belonging to fluorescent pseudomonads capable of enhancing yield have been formulated. Our scientists have also identified several remunerable groundnut-based intercropping systems. In crop protection, integrated pest management modules for managing diseases and insect pests have been developed for various agroecological zones. SLA has been identified to be one of the important morphological traits associated with water use efficiency. Technologies for producing enzymes of industrial importance from groundnut shell and oil and deoiled cakes have been developed. Varieties suitable for value addition have been identified. 
several value-added products have been identified that may be produced at the cottage industry level. The improved technologies are regularly assessed on farmers' fields and necessary refinement is made on the basis of their feedback. Under the AGs of DGR, the AICRPG provides a platform for simultaneous evaluation of any technology in diverse agroecological situations irrespective of its origin. The system has helped develop and release more than 55 improved groundnut varieties. DGR has been showered with accolades for its efforts. The ICRISAT bestowed upon DGR Outstanding Partnership Award for its contributions on groundnut crop. Our greatest award, however, is the emerging sense of confidence among farmers. Their faith in our work has helped us to aim even higher, to challenge our own potential, to grow with them and for them and to serve their needs with more improved technologies in the years to come. A better yield of groundnut crop will add lots of assurance to India's agro-economy. We at the Directorate of Groundnut Research are committed to make all that happen.